Hello friends, and welcome back to the cavern. It's Boondog here. Um, today we're painting something most people might think is a little bit more mundane or boring, but I think they're fun. So we have two pack mules that we got out of a pack. Um, I mean, you always need terrain additions and things like that. And these guys were well primed. Um, they had solid build one of them was slightly lilted um when you look at the legs you know they're not directly upright but you get what you get right <laughs> so for these two gents here are i can they be gents i mean mules are hmm i don't know these two gents here <laughs> we're going to be using a wet on wet technique um for their fur i i like the texture it gives I know some folks, when they look at this, will be like, I don't know, it kind of gives it an incomplete feel, um, like the muddy brushwork, but I think it looks a bit more like fur. Um, so I have a little bit of ashen brown and gray that we're doing on these guys. And then for the stockings and blaze or, or stars on the other one, um, I'm using a flesh tone that I just end up blending in. So let's check it out. One thing I'd like to point out, and it's something it took me forever to learn, and it's kind of ridiculous that it did, I paint over all of the tack um, for for my base layer, for, for the, the base fur color of the mule or horses. I learned this after painting some of the horses that came with the traveler's caravan. Anytime I would try to avoid painting the tack and then come back and later, I was always left with white gaps. It just looked messy. Um, it, it took me a while to figure out, just paint everything the same color, just like it's a priming layer, and then go back in and do the details for the tack. It makes it look quite a bit cleaner. Um, if anybody has any different suggestions that would help with that issue, just drop them in the comments below, but that's the best I've come to thus far. All right, so you can see here we've got the base coats down and you can see, like I said, it still has a bit of that brush texturing, which I think is just fine. I mean, I'm going for a fur kind of feel and let, let's be honest, these aren't going into a competition. They're not anything formal. I mean, yeah, I'll put them up on Instagram. I'm not expecting anything amazing. I'm not, <laughs> you know, I don't need any acknowledgments from other people. This is solely to make me happy and to be able to be used by my players. And I'm pretty sure they'll appreciate them. And if they don't, well, I can always ask them to leave the table. Kindly, of course. Um, <laughs> so now we're going to go in and start painting up the packs on these mules. Now you can see on the back here, it has them brightly colored. Don't know if I want to do both like that. I might end up splitting them. And as you can see here, I did. So I have one that's got kind of the rainbow colors. 
um, unintentionally, I ended up having the warm colors on one side and the cool colors on the other. It's just kind of how it happens. Um, and I went in with a couple of different colors for the roping. And then my second one, I have more neutral, like canvas type um, packaging that these mules are carrying along. And so now we're going to go in with a wash just to add some soft shading. Again, I don't need to spend a whole lot of time on these just to make them table ready. And here you go. These are my two pack mules. I'm very happy with how they came out. I think they'll be a great addition to the table. Really relaxing paint. Um, nothing was too difficult on them. Maybe some of the roping, you know, you're going to get some over paint going on to the colors for the packs on the back. But again, you're not getting graded on them. This is just for you to enjoy painting and then for your players to enjoy just getting a little bit more immersion in their story. So again, thanks for visiting the cavern. I hope you all have a wonderful week or day or hour, depending on if there's another video you're planning on watching after this for me. If not, um, feel free to leave any comments down below, like, and subscribe as much as I hate saying that it is YouTube and that's how you get places. Be well and take care.